What's going on, Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV, and in today's video, I'm going to show you the glitchiest build in MLB The Show 21. It is a relief pitcher build for your ball player, and it is far and away the best build. It's the best build to have right now, and it's the best build to have long term in MLB The Show 21. The reason it's the best build long term is we get more and more five tool cards every single day in Diamond Dynasty, and eventually, you're not going to need your player in the field. You're going to want to have them in your rotation. And what makes this build so overpowered is you can literally use this card every other game and pitch them about four to five innings. So you start off the game, you pitch them four or five innings, you take them out, you use your bullpen for the rest of the game. Next game, you use whoever you want pitching wise, you let him sit for a game, then he can pitch again. So every other game, he can pitch for you four to five innings. He's super, super, super overpowered. In this video, I'm going to give you the best windup, the glitchiest windup in the game. We're going to have that on this player. I'm going to you exactly how to build them. I'm going to show you exactly what to do in Road of the Show to build them fast. I'm also going to show you the best perks to put on them and the best archetype to put on them so you can have this player. He's extremely, extremely overpowered. The one thing I want to say about this card is do not let your ego get out of control using this card because it's so easy to use. It is so super, super cheesy. So I would not say if you make this build, don't go around thinking you're the best player in the world, all right? That's how good this build is. It's literally going to frustrate your opponents. It's it's way, way too overpowered. It needs to be nerfed. What this card's really going to help you do is it's going to keep you from going on losing streaks because when he pitches, you're most likely going to win a game. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing I want to show you is I want to show you the windup to use. Now, this question, I'm going to get a ton on my stream for the rest of the year. I already know. And that is what motion is that? What motion is that? Well, the motion that it is is generic windup 66. This is the glitchiest pitching motion in the game. First of all, it's sidearm. Second of all, the release out of the hand is glitched. When it goes out of his hand, the ball travels very, very strange. It looks like it just pops out of nowhere. And so it's very, very difficult to pick up. Most of your top players, they're going to be trying to pick the ball up out of the hand. This one is glitched out. I'm going to hop into a game versus the computer to show you what it's like. But after this video uploads, I'm going to be uploading another video with a gameplay of this card in ranked seasons on world series versus good competition so you can see them uh in that respect too it's going to be like a mickey mantle video so be sure to check that out but i'm going to just hop into the computer so you can see this release in action it's just incredible all right you can see in our managed squad we actually have him as a relief pitcher that's very important you don't want to make a starting pitcher you want to make a relief pitcher so his stamina builds back quickly starters they lose their energy and it takes a long time to get it back relievers they get it back pretty quickly all right, so check out the ball coming out of his hand. And just if you're hitting, you know, this is from Strike Zone View. Look how it releases out of his hand. It's super, super glitchy. It's so hard to pick up. It's easy to dot. So you kind of like, I don't know what he does, man, but he throws it like that and it looks really, really weird. It's super difficult to pick up. And then when you go with the pitch arsenal that we have, we have like a maxed out sinker that goes extremely fast, you know, 95, 96 sinker. 98 on that sinker even and then we have a cutter here that usually goes like 98 to 100 i mean super fast there that was time it went 97 but it goes very fast and then we have a screwball that we can throw so we can kind of mix it in like we're fernando valenzuela and then we have a circle change that goes 60 some miles an hour you know it goes like 68 to 71 miles an hour on the circle change and then we also have the slider you know we have the slider put them away the slider um, check out my pitch combos video. The slider is very, very important to that. But you can see this pitcher is super, super glitchy. And like I said, you can use them every other game. You know, get out to that early lead, pitch four or five innings. You got the lead. You've just been shutting down your opponent, striking them out like crazy. He's incredible. Let's get into more details about him and how to build him out and road to the show. Before we get to Road to the Show, though, I'm going to show you all of this stuff first. So what you're going to work towards in Road to the Show is you want to get this Houdini. You also want to use Velocity 1, Velocity 3, Velocity 2, and Control 5. I'm going to put up the pitcher's attributes that I have right now at the end. You can see that on screen right now. Take a look at it. That's what he's going to end up looking like at the end. But I'm going to show you how to get there. There's definitely some grinding that you're going to have to do, but it's not difficult to do. It just takes a little bit of time but not really at the same time 
So here's the path that you're going to go on to get this Houdini. The first thing that you're going to start off by doing is you're going to start off with Filthy. All right. Filthy, if you hit square and you'll get the program, eventually after you knock out this program and it won't take long to do with the method I'm going to give you, you're going to get these two. So you're, and the one that you're going to want to choose is you're going to want to choose cheesy filth. All right. So that's the next part. So after you grind out the filthy, you're going to go to the cheesy filth. All right. Cheesy filth. Again, you view the program, you knock out all this stuff through road to the show. You get to the archetype, you get to the Houdini, you get the gold Houdini. And then it's one more time with that. So you got the gold Houdini, look at the program go through the program and you're going to get the diamond houdini and again with the diamond houdini you're going to want to have velocity one velocity three velocity two and control five now your stats might not match up to mine yet exactly because you do have to build up the base stats for the card so everything starts at like i think it's like 30 and you're gonna build it up to 50. the other thing i recommend that you do when you grind this out is make sure like if you have another loadout like we have this one right here that i'm, I'm working on a third baseman I mean, just for the heck of it i'm gonna delete that loadout just so it's out of the way you really just want to have like one loadout while you grind this just because it's going to be easier to select faster when you're going through the grind uh, we can take a look at the equipment too. Uh, the equipment that really matters, um, you know, I got I got these Oakleys for the sunglasses. Some of it doesn't matter. Uh, the ritual item that you're gonna work want is the axle grease. You're going to want for the cleats. I use these cleats right here, the Pro Dominant Knit cleats. And then for the fielding glove, I use this one right here, the Pro Limited uh, Mizuno glove right there. And then also, that's pretty much it. The rest of it you can pretty much use whatever you want like you can use whatever bat or back grip that you want that kind of stuff isn't as important it's more important the things i just showed you you got to have those on because those are directly going to affect your pitcher all right so now let's talk about how to grind this out fast so what you're going to do is you're going going to go into the vaults for the rosters and you're going to go to the roster hit r1 go to the roster and then just go and search and type in rtts Type in RTTS and then hit search. And you're going to find some stuff that says like RTTS zero oh, choose Rockies. Like that's the one that you want to get. There's tons of them out there. I recommend that you just, you know, download one that says RTTS choose Rockies. That's the most important thing. After you download it, you're going to go to road to the show. You're going to cl click the square button for more options. You can see in the bottom left, click that. And then you're going to want to go to start new. It's going to say set up your ball player with your loadout for you. You're going to want to set it up as, uh, you know, start with filthy if you don't have that. And then it goes filthy. And then it goes to cheesy filth. And then it goes to Houdini. And then it goes to the Houdini at the top. So that's how you're going to set yours up. I already have mine set up like this. So I'll just set, save it like that. Basically, you just sit back out of this screen. And then it's going to say what rosters do you want to use. You're going to go to load save rosters. Uh, this is my RTTS roster that I talked about earlier i just have it saved as one because i just saved it fast but that's the one that i have so you want to click that now what you got to do is it has this cutscene right so when it has this cutscene in the top you gotta answer a couple questions uh the first thing that you want to do is you want to say there's one team i've heard from more than a couple times you click that then they're going to say the phillies they'll say like a random team and then what you want to say from there is like no but it's a national league club and basically we're just trying to get to the rockies no it's actually one of their nos rivals and then we're going to say yes that's the one i want to play in colorado then they're going to say that and then i just say coach i'm kind of expecting a call here then what they're going to do is they're going to basically go through this cutscene while you wait for it and i'll talk to you after this cutscene's over okay so you can see by answering those questions eventually we get drafted by the rockies now what's nice about getting drafted to the rockies is their double a their triple a and their major league club they are all top notch they're all 99 the rest of the teams are all like zero overall so it makes it very, very easy to go through road to the show. That's why you want to go to the Rockies. Now, the other thing I should say, another detail is you don't want to stay in the same one that you want to repeat this process. That I just showed you every couple of seasons, like every one to two seasons, just starting over and go through this process again, because what happens is eventually the Rockies, they can't keep all these 99 players. They start going to other teams. There's other cards that start going into the game or like other players start going into the game to have better, uh, you know, stats 
and stuff for the team, so they don't stay zero forever. Does that, that that's if that makes sense? Like eventually, the rosters start to turn over a little bit. We lose some players, we get some bad players. So every like one or two seasons, it's usually a good idea to start this whole process again. Now, when you first get into road to the show, they want to ask you if you wanted to become a two way player. So you don't really have a choice here. You just basically have to become a two-way player, and uh, you're going to have to go through a couple games like this. It's usually about like three to four to five games. They're basically trying to figure out like what you want to do. So we're going to tell them it doesn't matter. I I usually select like shortstop this time in center field, but it doesn't really matter. We're going to skip through this. All right. So we have our first couple games. Let's go ahead and take a look. The first thing I would also say, too, is make sure that you have your settings uh, where it's on beginner, especially for pitching. It doesn't matter for hitting, but make sure it's on beginner for pitching. Now, the next thing is when we take a look at the schedule here, let's take a look at the calendar. First of all, let's skip uh, Let's skip through. I don't know. Let's, we, we can actually take a look at it here. So we're actually pitching in the first game. And then the next couple games, they're going to have us in the field, all right? So the first game, we're going to pitch. The next couple games, they're going to have us in the field. It might be another way around where you have the first couple games where you're in the field and then you pitch. It doesn't really matter. These first four games, we want to get through as quickly as possible. So all we're going to do is we're going to go to play. We're going to go to play next. It's going to skip all the way over there. And then it's going to get to the point where we are pitching, okay? So we're going to hit play game. And that's see how quickly I was able to click through right there to like just get the build that I want to work on. That's why it's just like delete your other like, you know, delete your other loadouts for right now. So for the pitching, you can do the pitching if you want. The thing is with doing the pitching, the only real reason that you would want to do the pitching is there's two reasons. First of all, if you want to try out different windups, you can try that out. But I've already gave you like the glitchiest windup possible, so there's no real need to do that. And also, if you want to work on like one particular pitch, like if you want to build up the particular pitch, because not only do you raise like your H per nine and your K per nine and your stamina and all stuff like that, what you also can do is you're going to raise like your cutter break, your cutter velocity, and your cutter control, for example. So what you can do if you want to work on a specific pitch to help it go up faster is you can just throw the same pitch like over and over again. That's going to make it go up over time. And like I said, you're playing on beginner versus like horrible opponents, so they're going to strike out a lot. I have like actually no idea how that guy got a hit, or I guess he didn't get a hit or something. I, I don't know what's going on, but you can throw that same pitch like over and over. It's eventually going to strike out, and it's going to go up that way. But what I really recommend that you do is you just go to simulate to end and most of your stuff's going to go up. All you have to do with this screen is hit O one time to skip through the rest of the game and it'll eventually finish off and you're so much better than the other team that you're going to win every game very, very easily. And the reason you want to kind of skip through these games is the most important thing here is you're going to get some of the stuff through the game, but the most important thing is just hitting these practice sessions as much as possible. So at this point, you could go to play next game game but i'm gonna go return to clubhouse to explain like some more stuff here all right like i said when we viewed the calendar we can see like the pitching matchup is joe random versus joe random and then it's joe random versus joe random joe random versus joe random right so these next three games all we're gonna do is we're gonna pop into them we're gonna have it's gonna have us in the field but we're just gonna go and simulate to end so once i go do that i'll come back to this and i'll show you the next cut screen you're gonna talk to your agent soon and that's the next part of this that we got to get to so they got us in the field and we're just going to go and hit simulate and we're gonna get out of this as quickly as possible all right, so now we've gotten through that initial pitching game and a couple games in the field by simulating to the end. And so we've kind of had that initial trial period to see if we're going to be a two-way play, two player or not. We do not want to be a two-way player. So our agent calls us. We tell him, I don't like it. I prefer to focus on pitching only, all right? Then he's going to ask you, do you want to be a pitcher only or a two-way player at all? And again, we're going to say exactly that's what we want to be is just a pitcher. And then it's going to ask, do you want to be a starting pitcher or do you want to be a closer? Now, I showed you it's a relief pitcher, but we want to be a starting pitcher. It doesn't matter what loadout we have when we're a starting pitcher and wrote to the show. So we want to be a starting pitcher. That's very, very important. So don't say that you want to be a closer. Just say that you want to be a starting pitcher. Yes. Now, it's important th at this point is we want to get through these games as, pa as quickly as possible, and we really want to get to these side drills that we have. So we're going to go to play next, and we're going to have to play one more game. We're going to get to our side drills here pretty soon. But at this point, pretty much all you have to do is hop into the game, sim through it real quick, and then go to your side drills after that. Uh, how did we do in this game? 
let's see. We didn't really score a lot of runs, but we had nine innings pitch. We had 14 strikeouts. All that stats, all those, all those stats are going to build up to get through those archetypes quickly, and you can get up to the Houdini pretty quickly uh, doing that. So, all right, we're going to go through that. You'll have a lot of net gains. My guy is pretty much max, so it's a little bit different at this point in time. All right, so let's go to play next here again. That's all you have to How do. Skip picture? this cut screen. Skip this cut scene. All right, so they're telling me about the drills that we have. They basically tell you about two different drills along the way. And this is the screen. This is the most important thing that you can do to build up this player. You have the bullpen. And I'm going to explain all of this. So you have the bullpen where we get the slider control. And this is super important to do these. This is the number one thing you want to do. So you, I still have like circle change break that I got to get up. I have a slider control that I have to get up. And I have, you know, you got the practice field for this stuff. The one thing you're going to do in the practice field and training facility is make sure you build up your stamina. You're going to, you're going to want to get the stamina to 50. You're going to want to get the H for 9 to 50. You're going to want to get the K for 9 to 50. And you're going to want to get, uh, what's the one thing I'm not thinking about? You're gonna gonna want to get the BB per nine to fifty. Once you run out of that, uh, just start focusing on maybe your primary pitches and stuff like that. Here's a really good one that I could do is the cutter break and the uh, screwball break. Uh, you don't need to do the clutch. Don't worry about the clutch. That's not important. Worry about the, the stamina, the H per nine, the K per nine, and the BB per nine. Those are the things that you want to you're gonna want to do. And then you're gonna want to focus on the break, the velocity, and also the control of your individual pitches. Now it's gonna give you the ability to switch different pitches. This is the order you wanna have your pitches in and it does matter. It does matter. Slot one, you're going to wanna have the sinker. Slot two, you're gonna wanna have the cutter. Slot three, you're gonna wanna have the screwball. Slot four, you wanna have the slider. And slot five, you wanna have the circle change. And the reason that you want them in that order in those pitches, first of all, those are the best pitches in the game, bar none. It's the best order to have your pitches in too. So let's say you have like the slider in slot two instead of slot four. If you're not using the slider a lot, it's going to lose a lot of confidence when you play in game, and you don't want that. Uh, if you don't use the slider and circle change as much compared to like the, the sinker, the cutter, and the screwball, you want those lower because they won't lose confidence as much. They'll go about halfway confidence and confidence, but they won't go to like zero. So at one point in time, I had like a change up in my two slot. I started noticing that the confidence would go down drastically because I wasn't using that pitch. So again, you want to go sinker, cutter, screwball. Then you want to go with the slider in the four slot and then the circle change in the fifth slot. You could even switch the slider and the circle change if you want, but those two spots are kind of like, they're kind of the same. So how do you get these in? different spots let's say i wanted to switch the cutter to the primary pitch and i wanted to change the sinker to the the secondary pitch all right so i have sinker one and i have cutter as two and i want to switch cutter to one and sinker to two what you do is you replace it with like a running fastball and you replace this with a two seam fastball you basically take the sinker and the cutter out of the equation then you have to wait and go through the simulations until it says like replace this slot with that pitch so that's how you switch it up to get it exactly how you want is you just have to go through, do more simulations, get to the point where it asks you these questions and then you'll be able to train it in the slot that you want. But I'm telling you, it's very, very important to have them in those specific slots. They're the best pitches. They're the easy. They're very easy to do as well on the pinpoint meter. It's just the best way to go about it. I'll say it again, sinker cutter screwball slider and then the circle change that's the order that you want to have it in but the key is getting to this this screen as much as possible because this really makes your stuff go up fast so this almost makes it go up like a one number sometimes it goes plus two uh by going to these so it's very very important to go to these if we go to the training facility also and we click like this one sometimes it will take you to like a drill all right, so it'll take you to a drill like this. Never, ever, ever do the drill. See in the bottom left-hand corner, it says enter and skip. Just hit skip. Never do the drill. You're always going to get the points. You don't have to waste your time doing the drill uh, whatsoever. So just do that. For these, you know, you just click that. Well, minute, sometimes I go with H for 9 or sometimes I go for strikeouts or like K for 9. You'll be able to see that. I wouldn't go for like control or break. I'd go for H for 9 or K for 9. Again, that's all we pretty much have to do at this point. We're just going to go to play game. And we're going to go through this screen.
And again, if you want to work on individual pitches to try to like get there, you know, get that control or whatever, you know, to spam one pitch over and over again to work on it a little bit, get some more like velocity or break on it. And you can just do that with one pitch that you need to work on. But to be honest with you, I don't think it's as worth it to do that as it is just to get out of the game. You know, send to the end of the game and then get back to that like training facility thing that you're gonna have pretty much before every start. And you're gonna get one of those. So we're just gonna go return to clubhouse. We got some innings to go across that uh, stuff to level up through the archetype program quickly, and that's why also your player might not look exactly like mine because I've already got all my stuff up to 50. It takes a little bit of time to get it up to 50. But you will get it eventually. That's why you might have to do a couple seasons. And I think it took me about like I actually did a lot of different archetypes once I maxed it out to try out different ones. And I just have to kind of stuck with the Houdini. But here's the thing: like you're gonna be able to grind out several of those as you go through this process. But you're gonna be able to get all of this stuff up. Like you can see, the BB per nine has been max. I'm, I want my cutter control max. Like you want to max all that stuff. You really want to max your stamina. So my advice to you is: don't just get it to like the bare minimum of where you can get this player take the extra day or take the extra couple hours and keep doing more simulations to get your base stats from 30 up to 50 it's just going to make you that much better you know what i mean you're gonna have that much more control it's worth it to do a little bit of extra simulation to get those base stats up so that's literally basically all you have to do is you just work on you know go through this uh, once you get to the end of the season, just sim to the off season. Take the first contract that they give you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't give you any extra subs or anything like that. So take the first contract, and also always sim through the uh, spring training. Don't do spring training either. And then just kind of start this over. Start a fresh new season, like every two or three seasons. Like after you get to the World Series, you're gonna go up to the major league club in this season, no doubt about it. So. Make sure that you start a new season after you've won the World Series like once or twice. Like, go ahead and start it anew uh, and just start it off. Go through those first couple games where they decide whether you're a pitcher or a hitter and just kind of refresh it. It's going to make it go through faster. But just get, make sure you just like go through it a lot of times because you're going to want to go through this and you're going to want to get all this stuff up to 50 as quickly as possible and make sure you get your archetype to diamond. That's pretty much everything you need to know. I mean, that's how you make this player. Again, this, you know, just click on that. You're going to get some like activators and stuff like that. Like that the other thing that happens if you stay in one one um one season for too long is it starts to give you like this confidence strain thing so oh, it's another good reason just to go ahead and start it over but there's everything you need to know about how to make the glitchiest pitcher make sure you check out this next video too if you want to see him like in rank seasons just dominating i've had like it, it's really extremely dominant it's extremely dominant so there you go you got the blueprint have fun with it i'll see you in the next video until then peace out